Hello, my name's Lottie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to send a batch message using Accurex. Batch messaging, or the golden button as it's sometimes been referred to, is a powerful button as it enables you to carry out all the Accurex messaging actions, such as drafting a message, adding attachments, and sending questionnaires, but you can send it to not just one patient, but to multiple patients at once. It even has the capacity to contact up to 25,000 patients in one go. Let me show you how it works. Select new and then batch message. You can specify which group of patients you want to contact in three different ways. By uploading a type of Excel file called a CSV file, by selecting one of your patient lists, or by copying and pasting each patient's details directly into Accurex. For all of these options, you will only need the NHS numbers and dates of birth of each patient to contact them. Accurex is integrated with the personal demographic service of the NHS spine, so with those patient identifiers, we can automatically give you the most up-to-date mobile number of that patient stored against their GP record. The first option gives you the instructions on how to upload the CSV file. In the CSV file, or the spreadsheet, in column A, you'll need to have the patient's NHS number and in column B, the patient's date of birth and then upload it to Accurex. The third option allows you to copy and paste the NHS numbers and dates of birth of each patient directly into Accurex. You have to add the patient details with one patient on each line, as shown here. In the second option, you can import the patient list from the Accurex patient list. Please see our video on patient lists to learn more about this feature. For whichever option you choose, you'll be able to download a list of patients you cannot contact. This will be the patients who do not have a mobile number registered on the NHS spine. Now the fun part, write your message. You have a free text box to write your message. To save yourself typing out the same message or set of questions each time, you can create your own templates or questionnaires. Templates and questionnaires can all be used to manage patient appointments, but also for clinical use cases, such as to diagnose, stratify, or treat patients remotely. You can attach, documents such as letters, leaflets and images to your message. If you select a template, patients cannot reply to your message. If you select a questionnaire, patients can reply to your message. Patients have a seven day window to reply, after which the link to reply will expire. The patient will receive two automated reminders during that week if they have not responded. You will not get an email notifying you when each patient has responded in case you have sent this to thousands of patients at once. We typically have a 70 to 80% response rate to our questionnaires. We have a library of questionnaires that includes questionnaires designed by NHS clinicians, but also commonly used licensed questionnaires. You can also create your own questionnaires. Please see our questionnaire video for more information. Let's use the example of the waiting list validation questionnaire. This is a really helpful way to ask your patients if they still need the appointment they're on the waiting list for. You can specify which waiting list the patient is on and for which hospital so that the patient is not confused about the appointment you are asking about. You can schedule the message to send at a later date and time if needed. 
The messages will send in a matter of seconds. Patients will receive the message instantly and it will come from NHS No Reply. Given the familiarity of this sender ID and the fact that there is no need to download an app to access the message, we have excellent feedback on patient engagement and accessibility. In order to respond to the message or questionnaire, the patient has to click on the hyperlink, which then opens up in their browser. To confirm their identity, they must enter their date of birth and then respond to the questionnaire. In this example, patients must select if they need their appointment, yes or no, and then have four options to give a reason why they no longer need their appointment. To view your sent batch messages and the responses, you can click here. To view the replies from patients, you can check them individually in your Accurex inbox or download them as an Excel file. On the Excel, you can helpfully filter and analyse the responses. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support team who will get back to you within five minutes.